Hey guys, so I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but I'm the kind of person who oh, I really need to feel a sense of accomplishment in my life. And it doesn't have to be like a big thing, it can just be a little thing. But I find that with being a stay at home mom and feeling like my job is never ever finished, there's always something to do and always someone who needs something when you're a stay at home mom. So I never really feel like like I've really completed things. So I decided a couple of months ago that I was gonna take on something that was just for me and would try and make me feel a little bit accomplished in a different way, in like a personal way. I talked about it for a long, long time and I looked up prices of teachers and this, that and everything else. And then finally I said, I'm just gonna keep talking about this forever or I'm gonna go out and do it. So just over two weeks ago, I went out and I bought a $20 keyboard off of Kijiji and I bought it from a little kid who didn't play and well, I mean, I guess he didn't practice so his parents were like, sell it. And so he gave me his piano book with it, which was really, really cool because I, I think that my plan was like to come home and then try and find a piano teacher and everything like that. But when I actually looked at the book that he gave me, I was like, this is so cool. I can at least teach myself some of what I wanna learn. And so this is the book that he gave me. It's a children's book. Don't laugh if you play the piano because I know I'm pathetic right now. That's okay. Um, but yeah, it's called Alfred's Basic Piano and it's lesson book level 1A. And he stuck stickers all over it because he was really, he was really a little kid. There's his writing all through the book. But yeah, it's really, really cool because the book starts out by just you know, giving you like basic stuff, like what is a, what's a quarter note, what's a half note, um, you know, whole notes, and then it goes into like using your fingers for different notes, and then it starts to um, put the notes onto the keyboard and show you where they are, and then it actually shows you like how music fits onto a staff, which is, uh, for those who don't play music, it's the, the five lines that have all the notes on them. And so, all my life, I have really, really wanted to learn how to play an instrument, but when I was younger, we never really had the money to, to do it. So I'd go over to my friends' houses, and I would look at their music books and be like, whoa, and then I would get them to kind of like teach me little things in my hands, but I never had any friends that I would see often enough to learn how to play. Yeah, so I went through, let's see, June 29th, I went through the first piano book that I got, the Alfred's book, in seven days. It was really, really fast, like the first, the first, I don't know, 43 pages, I think I went through in the first day, but I felt really, really good and like really, really accomplished because for instance, if you look at this, yeah, there's a picture because it's a kid's book. Don't laugh at me. Um, so that's music notes and I can play for you. I mean, hopefully I can because I haven't touched this since July the 5th. Um, but what's on the page, which is really, really cool because that's something that I've never been able to do before. And so I will. So, um, yeah, so that was like my first big accomplishment was being able to play the song at the end of that book. And like I said, I finished that book in seven days and I was really, really happy with it. Um, I think that I have been, I mean, I don't know, I feel like I've been pretty successful at learning so far. And I think that one of the reasons is because um, with a lot of the things that I've tried to take on in my life since I've had kids, I've always had to set aside time to be by myself to do them. And the best thing about starting to learn the keyboard was that when I am with the kids and they're in the room with me, at any point I can just sit down and play. And what I do is I take a piece of color tape and I tape off the lowest key that I'm gonna use and the highest key that I'm gonna use. And I just say to James and Joe, like you guys can go on either side of me and you can do anything you want, but you can't touch those keys that are inside the tape. And you know, it's really weird hearing myself play when the kids aren't playing with me because usually James is hammering up high and Joe is hammering down low and I'm trying to listen and make sure that I'm hitting the right keys. So, but most importantly to me, I just wanted to really learn how to read the music and I'm really, really excited that I'm doing it. So yeah, so I really, really liked that Alfred's basic piano book, um, but I went through it, like I said, in seven days. So I went looking online and I discovered that Alfred actually makes a set of books for adults and it's called the Alfred's Basic Adult Piano Course. And so I bought the adult all-in-one course book and it has way more information in it than was in the kids book. And so I went right back to the beginning even though I knew a lot of what was in there just because they go a little bit more in depth onto like the theory behind everything. 
and I am working on it and it just feels so cool to be doing something for myself for like for like what I think is the first time in a long time like really the only thing that I do in my life that doesn't have anything to do with family is is YouTube and um, when I say it doesn't have anything to do with family I mean I talk about my family on here but this is something that I do for me it's where I express my thoughts and my feelings and I can interact with people outside of my family and so it's really really cool to have something else that I have for me and yeah, so I started this book on July the 5th, and right now I am 88 pages in. No, I'm not. Yeah, 89 pages in. And so I have finally, for the first time, like, it was really, really easy for me for, like, the first two weeks to just whip through everything, you know? I would read something, and I would play it, and I would stumble across it a couple of times, but then I'd be fine. And finally, 88 pages into the adult book, I finally came to something where um, it's a little harder for me, and I'm having some trouble. And so I've been placing post-its at the top of each page that says, you know, the date on it, and it tells me, like, where I got to on that day. And I actually have not since... Oh my gosh, since the 11th, put a new post-it note in because I've kind of like been stuck on the same little group of three or four pages here. And I really like to be able to like master them before I go on. So, um, let's see what's here. You guys know that one, right? As you guys can see, I'm not amazing at anything yet, but um, it's really, really cool. And so I think that one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is because you know I find that so many people comment and so many people talk about in different in different. Um, you know, forums and things like that, that they really lose their self in motherhood. And it's really, really hard to feel like your own person. You always feel like you're just doing everything for everybody else. And what you want and what you need and, and who you are doesn't really matter anymore. And that's the reason why we all stop, you know, taking pictures of ourselves and we just take pictures of our kids and doing things for ourselves and we just do things for our kids and stuff like that. And so it's been really, really cool starting this. I have slowed down a little bit since it got kind of hard. Yeah, I'll keep it up and I'll let you guys know in like another two weeks or a month how it's going. I didn't, I know that like a lot of people are going to laugh at me because piano is pretty much like the basic instrument and almost everybody in the world can play it. So I feel a little like goofy starting to play it at 28 years old, but um, it's something that I really, really wanted to do. And so I started and I went to buy some piano books off of someone else on Kijiji and he is a 52 year old man who started to teach himself the piano five years ago and then he very quickly um, went to hiring a teacher because he wanted to be able to play really well and he does all these things where like he goes and he gets graded and he like plays in front of a group of I guess professors or whatever all this stuff and that stuff's not really important to me I don't want to be like a professional piano player or anything like that I just I've always heard other people play and I thought it was really really cool I had an ex who could play and I was like in awe of that and I just I want to teach myself and so you know if you guys have any advice if anybody else has self-taught then I would love to hear from you if you guys know of any like great um, websites or anything like that where I can get some really good, good information that would be cool because this is this is my new venture it's my new thing and it's awesome that I can incorporate it into my life so much by being able to do it while the kids play beside me and stuff like that because otherwise I'd probably never have time to uh, but yeah that's all that I really wanted to share with you guys today I like this It just sounds cool <laughs> but um, I am yeah I mean I'm just I'm working on it so yeah like I said if you guys have any comments to make then make them and if you think that I'm totally totally silly for starting this at this point then that's fine I think Joe is awake now so I have to go yeah he's awake for sure he was awake oh he's so sad this is this is cool too actually I can just breastfeed and play with the other hand. So I have been doing a lot of that too. <laughs>
um, yeah, so anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon, and that's all that I really wanted to say today. Bye!